Hi Buckaroos, we are entering the final hours of the Kickstarter and I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for, for making this successful and making it possible for us to make this game about proving love is real for everybody um, and to make it in such a way that people who don't have money can still play it. That's really awesome. Um, so I've asked to mark the occasion everybody on the team to kind of do a little video talking about why they think love is real since uh, that's that's the core thesis of the game that we're sort of building around and you know what that means to them and for me part of it is I've you know I've designed a lot of the narrative around uh, trying to show healthier ways to love each other because I think it's very easy to think of love only as an emotion and not as a thing you do and not as a way to treat people so I wanted to sort of provide a variety of angles to look at that from and to encourage better ways to treat each other and, and ways to show love and to prove love is real by being the person on the side of the person doing the work and expressing this love through action. And I think that's important now more than ever. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't know what to do. A lot of people are freaked out by the, the current political climate. I know I am. Uh, God bless my team because I've been running around alternating between trying to make sure everybody in my life isn't falling apart and trying to keep them together and falling apart myself. And the thing about that is I'm able to get up off the floor and keep going because of that love that other people have done for me. Sometimes it's just checking in. Sometimes it's giving me space to talk. Sometimes it's making sure that I, you know, haven't gone a day without eating or that I've remembered to take medication, things like that. Those are all acts of love. And even though it's so easy to feel overwhelmed and terrified and like there's nothing you can do, even if you're someone who's like, I'm not the person that's, I I'm not able to go out and, you know, like march in the streets and, and, and scream and yell and all of that, um, we can still provide love for each other in the meantime and build community resilience and healing and go to, you know, the people that are in our communities that are suffering the most from the current climate that are being targeted by hate and fill in gaps where we can. Tell them that they're, you know, that they are loved directly. Ask what you can do. Uh, just following it up with messages being like, you don't even have to respond to this. I just want you to know that I'm thinking about you. Little things like that. That's among a million other ways to prove love is real. And it's something we can do to sort of help heal and help us pick each other off the floor as we move forward and hopefully towards healing a lot of damage that's been done and making things even better on top of that. And, you know, I'm going to keep making this goofy unicorn game with this message, uh, partially because I, I feel like it's important to allow marginalized people and people who are fighting back a spectrum of emotions. We should not enter an age, we should not fall into emotional austerity where it's like all we care about or are allowed is how are we fighting back. Part of fighting back, to me, is not letting humanity be something that belongs only to people who are not under oppression. And that means, you know, having queer goofy comedies for queer goofy people and um, amongst all kinds of things and supporting the work and celebrating the work of, you know, marginalized people that isn't necessarily about their suffering and not make and allowing us to be full humans and not just the sad things that happen to us. And that is also an act of love. Um, so yeah, the game's going to be great. I, I feel I very strongly believe in it. I'm looking forward to, you know, really coming at a bunch of different angles of trying to sort of dismantle mainstream narratives about love and pop culture that aren't healthy or or on the flip side, dismantle common ways to hate yourself because self-love is important as well. Um, as well as tell you a couple really good jokes about all kinds of stuff. Mainly how ridiculous it is that 
we exist in the first place. Anyway, um, sorry if that got too heavy. It's been a very long week. Uh, we're almost to the finish line. I'm so stoked for everything y'all have done for us, for that love that you've shown us, uh, for the love that you've shown me as a creator, that I can still be here and make things and do things, and that my worth isn't only in my suffering, and that you believe in the stuff that I make. Um, that, to me, is proven love is real on, on a massive scale, and thank you for that. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm doing that thing I said I didn't want to do where I get teary, so I'll cut it off there. And yeah, keep proving love is real, buffers.